Good day, everyone. God is good. His mercy endure forever. See on the topic of um, the blessed Holy Spirit, the Spirit of truth, the Spirit of grace, the Spirit that raised of Jesus Christ from the grave. The Spirit that brought us from darkness into his marvelous life. Thank you, Jesus. Bless the Holy Spirit. Have your way to him today. In our midst, so go into your word. Speak to each and every one of us. Even those who are listening to this telecast, bless everyone. Heal everyone. Deliver everyone. Set everyone free. Bring more of your children to your marvelous light in Jesus' name. Thank you. My text is taken from the book of um, 1 Corinthians 2 9 to 11. I read This is what the scripture me when they say, No eye has seen, no ear has heard. Or no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love him. But it was to us that God revealed these things by his spirit. For his spirit searches out everything and shows us good deep things. No one can know a person's thoughts except that person's own spirit. And no one can know God's thoughts except God's own spirit. Praise the Lord. So we're talking today about the, the works of the Holy Spirit. We started last week by His grace. The works of the Holy Spirit in man. He said, it is the spirit of a man that it's a twine, mingle with the spirit of God to bring deep revelation about the things of God. Because at the time you get born again, the Holy Spirit comes in and makes an abode. It takes its rightful place and a desire to move in every department of our lives. Praise the Lord. It desires to move. It's just like you have in the house now and you lock up the whole apartment. You decide to stay in the living room. Until you open the doors, you have the key. Until you open these doors to allow you to go in, around, within, that's when you have free access. It's just like, same with the Holy Spirit. He's asking every one of us to come closer. He has in an in-depth work to do in our life. I personally love the Holy Spirit because the one that brought me out of darkness into his marvelous light. I don't know the reason why. And you might not have the same experience. From the scripture we just read, he said the Holy Spirit is the one that reveals, is our teacher. He reveals this to each and every one of us. He points us to the direction of God. He's the spirit of truth. The spirit, there are so many spirits, but he is the spirit of God. He is the spirit of truth. He leads and directs you to all truth pertaining to God's kingdom. And how you, as a child of God, will be able to live in this perverse world. Praise the Lord, if you open up to him. But one thing I say, the Holy Spirit will never force anyone until you yield. If you don't yield, he withdraws back. It's only the devil that forces people against their, their consent. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It is the Holy Spirit that we receive that teaches us the word of truth. That is the word of God. It's not the spirit of the world. It doesn't tell you about the things of the world. It cuts you. It sever. It turns your direction to where where he's taking you to. Remember, it was the Holy Spirit that helped our Lord Jesus Christ here on earth. 
It was the Holy Spirit that did all that he did during his earthly ministration. Thank you, Jesus. It's an eye opener. You open your eyes to see your inheritance in him. If you are lying, please the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We're going to go into the another verse. John chapter 16, verse 2. Thank you, Jesus. Spirit of the living God, have your way. Holy Spirit, have your way. Hallelujah. For you will be expelled from the synagogue, and the time is coming when those who kill you will think they are doing a holy service for God. They will think they are doing a holy service. It's time of trials. It's time of tribulations. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Rakane Kamas Sundo. It strengthens you. At the time they might be thinking, oh, we are doing the work of God. I didn't say the Bible. I told you this thing so that you will abandon your faith. For you will be expelled from the synagogue, the church. And the time is coming when those who kill you will think they are doing the holy service. Why? Because they have not known the Father. But if you know the Father, you will click to the blessed Holy Ghost. You will click to Him. No matter what you are going through, He will strengthen you. He will uphold you. He will guide you. He will cancel you. He will love you. Praise the Lord. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. It's not harsh. It's not a harsh spirit. It's a gentle spirit of God. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. It's a teacher. It's our teacher. He teaches you the things of God. He explains the depth, the deep revelation of the word of God to you. At times, if you don't know, you're going through situations and circumstances in your life, and you now say, Holy Spirit, help me. I don't know what is happening to me. Reveal to me so that I, I will be able to know how to go about this. He will. He will teach you. He will guide you. He will lead you. He will explain to you if you are lying. But you have to be in relationship with him. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Our Holy Spirit, one of his other attributes is a strengthener. He strengthens you. He upholds you. He energizes you. Praise the Lord. This test can be taken in the book of um, we all know that popular verse in the Bible. Philippians 4. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Philippians 4, chapter 13. This will continue until we come to, to such unity in the faith and knowledge of God, so that we will be mature in the law, measuring up to the full and complete standard of God. Complete standard. But eventually you are watching me now. There are certain things you are going through and you do not understand. And the devil will say, oh, it's time for you to step back. You try to cancel, wrong canceling. Go this way, go this way. But the Holy Spirit is saying, be strengthened. Be strengthened. Be strengthened in your inner man. Look up to God. Build your faith in Him. Let the Holy Spirit lead you. Karama sendere bo sharaba ye kapus kila ba shandala bo moskele bo sundo kura kaiyende le kaiyandala bo be sande kura kaiyende le bo sundo ma sendele bo shikata laka. Is that Spirit that raised up? The Holy Spirit, the Spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the grave. For the enemy did not know. The plans of God. If they knew, I think they wouldn't have crucified the Son of Glory. It is the Holy Spirit that brought him back to life. He died and he was buried. On the third day, he rose again. Rise and walk. My brethren, it's time for you to rise and walk. Believe God. Trust God for a greater things. Up uphold him. Hold him. Meditate on the word of God and let it strengthen you. It is only through the word of God 
that it can strengthen you. And you cannot be able to read the Bible if you don't have enough indwelling on the Holy Spirit. Because at the time you are born again, it's there. But there are things you do that sets the Holy Spirit up. Meditating on the Word of God, fellowship, prayer, praise and worship. Those are the things that energizing the Holy Spirit, it energizes you as well because the Holy Spirit dwells in you. But if you ignore Him and just push Him aside, there's nothing He can do. Praise the Lord. The Holy Spirit is a loving Spirit. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Don't be cast down. There is a sound of abundance of rain. Jesus said that, said, that great day of the physician stood and said, Is anybody thirsty? Let him come and drink. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Is the rivers of living water? Open up your heart. Let it purge you. I hold myself, Holy Spirit, purge me, heal me, deliver me. Do only that which you can do. He's the only one. There is no other person. As you are listening to me now, it's time for you to embrace that Holy Spirit. Don't neglect. Don't share enough. Love Him. Embrace Him. As for me, I made up my mind because He brought me into the fold of Christ. I don't know the reason, but He was the one who showed me the way. He was the one you said, this is the way. Even when I was saying, no, 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 no. I, I didn't know because my people, the Bible said, my people perish because of lack of knowledge. You are peradventure looking to me now. You are just saying, oh, let me enjoy myself. Let me do this. Let me do that. No, it's time for you to get born again and give your lives to God. There is a better life in Christ through the help of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. There is a greater and a higher dimension. God is taking each and every one of us to if we embrace the Holy Spirit today, the spirit of truth, the spirit of cancer, the spirit of comfort, the spirit that raised up Jesus Christ from the grave is waiting for you. Call on him. Let him know you recognize his sin. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Worship him in his beauty of his holiness when you wake up in the morning. Sing a, song, a new song unto him and praise him. Thank you. And let it start transforming your life. Let it start turning your perspective to heaven perspective, not your own perspective. Let it start changing your perspectives. The Holy Spirit will change everything. He will renew your mind. He start working in your mind, your spirit, your soul, your body. That all you are thinking is just God and God alone. That's the only way out. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's our intercessor. We did death on this one last week. It's our intercessor. He's the only one that can pray through you if you are lying. Holy Spirit, here I am. I cannot pray. Help me. It's our intercessor. That's why I tell people, try and get that book, Overcomers Prayer Guide. It's all scripture-based. Scripture. I didn't put any word of my own. It's all Bible from the beginning to the end. Who am I? What do I, what do I know? I don't know anything. It's all scripture based. Get it. It was strengthened. It's like you are confessing the, the scriptures into your inner man. Praise the Lord. It's our intercessor. He enables us to, to be able to pray. This is taken from the book of Romans because of our time. Romans 8, 26 is our intercessors. He enables you to see things you cannot be able to see with, with your natural mind or natural natural mind. With your natural mind, he, he revealed. He show you things to come. He help you to pray. It takes you from glory to glory. It makes you to see things which others cannot say. That's the work of the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. He brings you to, to tarry before God in prayer. Can be there for hours. 
develop the habit of spending time with him. He will teach you how to pray. He will lead you. He will help you in Jesus' name. Holy Spirit is our counselor. This is taken from the book of Isaiah. Let's look at the book of Isaiah. Isaiah 12, Isaiah 11. Isaiah 11. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, blessed Holy Spirit. Shakatala kura kayandele bo shakata. Rakabos kelebo sondo kuran kayende. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 11 12 says, He will raise the flag among the nation, assemble the exile of Israel, and he will gather the scattered people of Judah from the ends of the earth. I'm reading Isaiah 20, Isaiah 11, verse 12. He's talking about Jesus here. Whatever you have lost, the Holy Spirit can gather. That's this work. It does marvelous things. He's talking about our Lord Jesus Christ, what he was coming to do. He knew what the plans of God. It's the Holy Spirit that can reveal the plans of God to you. He's the only one that can cancel you. He's the only one that can energize you. He's the only one that can love you to the very end. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. It's our counselor. He's the only one that can guide. He's the only one that can lead. Let's look at the book of Roma. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. The book of Proverbs 20. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. 27. The Lord lies penetrate the human spirit, exposing every motive. The lost light. The Holy Spirit is the light. As I said last week, as the time you are born again, the Holy Spirit comes. He makes an abode in you. He seeks. He does. As you continue to fellowship with Him, releasing yourself, every cell of your body, every department of your body, He starts moving. He starts revealing Himself. He starts showing Himself strong in your life. Praise the Lord. That's the Holy Spirit. The Spirit, the, the, the Lord's light, that's the Holy Spirit. Jesus is the light of the world. In the book of John 1, is the light of the world. Is the, is the life of the world. Is the light of the world. Is our light, is our life. The life we are living now is not, doesn't belong to us. The scriptures say, all the fullness of God her bodily dwelleth in him. In him we are complete. In him we are complete. He is our light. That's what the scripture says. Once he once comes in, he mingles with your spirits, penetrates, exposing everything that is hidden, diffusing those things that is not of God, renews your mind. He walks through you, through your muscles, through your fiber. As he's walking through you, your perspective change. That since the desire for the things of the kingdom steps up inside of you. You don't need any money to tell you if you are a child of God or not. You only need the witnessing of the Holy Spirit. Kurama Sandaya inside of you. Remember, I was giving a testimony of myself at that. I got born again. Sometimes we go through a certain things. And uh, I was doubting. I said, I'm really born again. God said, I said, what do you mean if you are born again? I called you. So you don't believe I called you? Remember the Bible says we overcome Satan by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. It is only your testimony that you can overcome Satan. When I lost peace to me that I should my teaching will be on the Holy Spirit. I said, God, what do I know about the Holy Spirit? He said, you, you know a lot. You know a lot. I'm asking you, teacher of the Holy Spirit, use your experience to encourage people. So I'm asked to encourage people. When, when, when I was not getting, getting through certain things, I said, ah. then the Holy Spirit now said, the scripture just came. 
The Holy God gave me that scripture. The Holy Spirit gave me that scripture. Roma, the book of uh, John 3, 8. The Spirit of God is like a wind. It blows. Nobody knows where it's going. So it is when you are born again. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So that's, that's, that's how it is. So no matter what you are going through now, brethren, my sisters, my brother, don't feel God has left you. God is with you. God the Father is with you. God the Son is with you. God the Holy Spirit is with you. The Trinity dwells in you, within you, around you, going with you. Be encouraged, be strengthened. The battle is the Lord. The Lord knows how to fight his battle if you are lying. Praise the Lord. Who can battle with the Lord? There's nobody that can battle with the Lord. There is no one. There is no one. God knows how to fight your battle for you. Be strengthened. You are born again. You are a child of God. Fellowship more with him. By the time you start fellowshipping more with him, Doors will be opening. Doors of your heart will be opening. You see him moving, speaking to you. It's a friend that sticks to that than a brother. Praise the Lord. Thank you, Jesus. He leads you through your human spirit. The Holy Spirit leads you through your human spirit. He guides you through your human spirit. Thank you, Jesus. The Holy Spirit is our standby, is always there. I think in the book of Exodus, the book of Exodus, when the children of Israel are going, God warned them, I will send my spirit before you. Don't grieve my spirit. Whatever he says, do it. Let's look at the book of, um, in the New Testament now, the Holy Spirit is always with you. Always. You know, grieve the Holy Spirit. You know, strive with the Holy Spirit. Allow Him to do that which God has ordained in your life. Praise the Lord. I decree and I declare that from today, you will have an encounter with the Blessed Holy Ghost. The Holy Spirit will arrest your hearts as you are listening to this clip if you are not born again, just the way He arrested me. He will arrest you until you surrender and give your heart to the Lord Jesus Christ and accept him as your own personal Lord and Savior. No. Thank you, Jesus.